In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And I wish you a very happy feast day. Today is the first feast in the parish and our school of our patron saint, St. Congo. And so we ask his blessing and prayers for all of us in our parish and school. As we do so, we begin our Mass by acknowledging our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your kindness called your servant, Blessed Conkel, to the following of Christ, Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that denying ourselves, we may hold fast to you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's now be seated and invite our readers to come forward to read the Word of God. First reading. This reading comes from a book of a wise man called Isaiah. God tells us to look after each other and to share our things. God says, it is no good saying your prayers to me if you go on hurting each other or if you keep on arguing and fighting and punching each other. You must share things. You must feed the hungry and get houses for the poor people and buy clothes for the people who haven't got enough. If you do this, you will make the world bright you will be like the sun that fills the sky with light each morning. This is the word of the Lord. He loves our vo response. God the Father loves us. He loves our voices. He loves our eyes. Response. He loves every strand of our hair. He loves our names. Response. He loves each one of us. He loves us all the time. Response. He loves us when we are awake. He loves us when we are asleep. Response. He loves us when we are happy. He loves us when we are sad. Response. Second reading. This reading comes from one of St. Paul's letters. He tells us how to love and be happy together. Dear friends, help your teachers and don't make life difficult for them. Don't fight with each other, don't be lazy, and help the people who are nervous. Take care of the children who are not very well. Be patient, don't try to get your own back. Think of what would be best for everything. This is the word of the Lord. Please stand to greet the gospel.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy are those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you, and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Over 1,700 years ago, a long, long time, Congal was born. His father was a warrior, a soldier, and was a brave man and a respected leader. And he wanted Congal to follow his profession, to be a soldier like him, a warrior like him. But Congal wasn't interested in that. He wanted to follow a different way of life. And he went to St. Finian in Moville Monastery. And there he learned about God and learned about prayer and became a follower of Christ, became a priest. And he came back to Antrim, County Antrim, and he spent time going around the different monasteries before setting up a monastery in Bangor where St. Colin Banis was to take forth from. And Congal was respected as a man of wisdom, a man of prayer, a man of faith, one who could be trusted, one whom you could depend on. He was really well respected and liked for these qualities. Today, he is our patron saint in our school, our parish. And we have him as a patron saint so that we can follow his example of being brave, being courageous, of trying to do the right thing, of being a person of prayer. We pray to St. Congal that he will help us be good and kind and prayerful. And just as the Beatitudes in the Gospel tell us, we will be happy, we will be content, if we follow that way. And the P7s who received their confirmation last week know about the Beatitudes. They have studied them. Now they have had the courage to apply them to their lives. The rest of us must try to do the same. You will always remember St. Congal because of the years you spent in the school. 
always try to hold on to his way of prayer and faith and be brave about it in our world. Let us stand and pray. We pray to God, our Father. We pray for our school and our parish community, that St. Congal will always be our intercessor, pray for us, and guide and direct us. Lord, hear us. Pray for any of you who are feeling sad or worried or in difficulties. Lord, hear us. We pray that our school will always be a place of learning and love and goodness to be enjoyed by all who are part of the school. Lord, hear us. We pray that we will be excited by following God and living the gospel. Lord, hear us. Pray for the first communicants, or P4 boys and girls, who received their first Holy Communion this week. Thursday, that they will feel the blessing of God in their life. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for a moment for our own intention, our own prayer to God. Lord, hear us. Pray for all who have died, those past pupils from the school who have died. They will all be at peace with God in heaven. Lord, hear us. God, our loving Father, we make our prayers in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Let us stand and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made for the salvation of your people, so through the intercession of blessed Congal, we may flee the enticement of sin and draw near to the company of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. God our loving Father, we are glad to give you thanks and praise because you love us. You sent your Son, Jesus, to bring us to you and to gather us around him as the children of one family. We thank you with the angels and saints as they praise you and say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord. Let us now kneel. Blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of the children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, hate, which makes us all unhappy. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always we can live as your children. God our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. The night before he died, Jesus your Son showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. Then he broke the bread, gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this blood, we do frame your death, Lord Jesus. And so, loving Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. And so we say together, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Lord our God, listen to our prayer. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May the Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the Church. Would Francis, our Pope, Noel, our Bishop, all other bishops, and all who serve your people. And so we say together, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Father, remember, Father, our families and friends. To all those we do not love as we should. Remember those who have died. 
bring them home to you to be with you forever. And so we say together, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Gather us all together into your kingdom. There we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother. There all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. So we say together, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Let us now stand. For at the Saviour's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Give us peace. Let us now kneel as we Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us stand and pray. By the power of this sacrament which we have received, renew our hearts, O Lord, so that by the example of the Abbot Blessed Congal, being wise in all things above and not in the things of earth here below, we may might appear in glory with Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Just to thank you for sharing in the Mass the way you did. It was really good to hear you sing and make the responses and to join with you in prayer on the feast day of St. Congo. Enjoy the rest of your day. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Almighty God, bless all of us in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.